In today's digital world, hackers have an entire arsenal of tricks to bypass security, steal information, and disrupt systems. But how do they do it? Today, we're breaking down all the major hacking techniques you need to know, all in under 13 minutes. Whether it's phishing scams, malware, or advanced exploits, understanding these methods helps you stay one step ahead. Let's dive into the world of hacking. But before that, let me introduce myself. My name is Josh, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid cybersecurity, ethical hacking, or cloud pro fast. One, phishing. Phishing is when hackers trick you into giving away personal information, like passwords or bank details, by pretending to be someone you trust. They often use fake emails, websites, or social media messages to make their scam look real. Two, spear phishing. Spear phishing is a more targeted attack. Instead of sending generic messages, hackers research their victims to make the emails or messages appear highly personal and convincing. This can often lead to more successful attacks on specific individuals or companies. 3. Whaling Whaling is a form of spear phishing aimed at high-profile targets like CEOs or executives. These attacks are very sophisticated and often involve personalized emails that attempt to steal sensitive company data or trick the target into transferring funds. 4. Malware Malware is malicious software designed to damage your computer or steal your data. It includes viruses, trojans, and ransomware. Once installed, it can wreak havoc by corrupting files, spying on your activities, or even hijacking your computer entirely. 5. Ransomware Ransomware locks up your files or system and demands a ransom payment to release them. Think of it as a digital hostage situation, where hackers hold your data captive and demand money for access. 6. Spyware Spyware silently monitors your activities, often without your knowledge. It can track what you type, steal passwords, or even activate your webcam to spy on you. Its goal is to gather personal information and send it back to the attacker. 7. Trojan Horse A Trojan Horse is malware that disguises itself as legitimate software, tricking you into installing it. Once installed, it can open a backdoor for hackers, allowing them to take control of your system and steal data. 8. Worms Worms are self-replicating programs that spread across networks without any user intervention. Once they infiltrate a system, they can cause widespread damage and move from one machine to another, creating a virtual pest infestation. 9. SQL Injection SQL Injection allows hackers to access and manipulate a website's database by injecting malicious code into the site's input fields. This can enable them to steal, alter, or even delete sensitive data stored in the database. 10. Cross-Site Scripting XSS. In an XSS attack, hackers inject malicious scripts into web pages that run when you visit the page. These scripts can steal your personal information, hijack your session, or even perform actions on your behalf without your consent. 11. Denial of Service DOS, and Distributed Denial of Service DDoS. DOS and DDoS attacks flood a network or website with overwhelming traffic, causing it to crash and become unavailable. While DOS comes from a single source, DDoS uses many different machines, often as part of a botnet, to launch a much more powerful attack. 12. Man in the Middle MITM. A MITM attack happens when hackers secretly intercept communication between two parties, such as between a user and a website. They can alter the communication, steal sensitive information, or inject malicious content into the conversation. 13. Brute Force Attack In a brute force attack, hackers attempt every possible password combination until they find the correct one. It's a time-consuming method, but often effective when weak passwords are used. 14. Credential Stuffing Credential stuffing is when hackers use stolen usernames and passwords from one site to try logging into other sites. Many people reuse passwords, making it easier for attackers to gain access to multiple accounts. 15. Zero-Day Exploit 
a zero-day exploit targets vulnerabilities in software that are unknown to the developers or the public. These attacks happen before a patch is available, meaning the hacker can exploit the weakness undetected until it is fixed. 16. Social Engineering Social engineering involves manipulating people into divulging sensitive information or performing actions they shouldn't. It plays on human psychology, creating urgency or pretending to be someone the victim trusts. 17. Keylogging Keyloggers are malicious programs that record every keystroke on a computer. They can capture passwords, credit card numbers, and personal messages without the user realizing it, making them a powerful tool for identity theft. 18. Session hijacking Session hijacking occurs when hackers steal an active session token from a user, allowing them to impersonate that user on a secure website or application. This can let them access sensitive information or carry out unauthorized actions. 19. DNS spoofing DNS spoofing tricks your computer into connecting to a fake website instead of the intended one. Hackers change the DNS, domain name system, designed to steal information or install malware. 20. Watering hole attack A watering hole attack targets a specific group of people by infecting websites they frequently visit. When members of the group visit the compromised site, their devices become infected, often without them realizing it. 21. Clickjacking Clickjacking hides malicious actions behind a legitimate-looking website button or link. When you click the button, you unknowingly trigger the malicious action, which could perform unwanted actions like stealing your login credentials. 22. Rogue Software Rogue Software masquerades as a legitimate program like a fake antivirus, but is actually designed to harm your system. Once installed, it may steal data or cause other damage to your computer. 23. Eavesdropping Eavesdropping attacks intercept communications, like messages or data being sent over a network, without the sender or receiver's knowledge. This allows hackers to capture sensitive information, such as passwords or financial data. 24. Exploit Kits Exploit kits are automated tools used by hackers to find and exploit vulnerabilities in software. These kits help launch attacks quickly by taking advantage of flaws in popular software and applications. 25. Drive-by Download A drive-by download occurs when malicious software is downloaded to your device simply by visiting an infected website. You don't need to click anything. Just visiting the site is enough for the malware to install itself. 26. Rootkits Rootkits are programs designed to hide deep within your system, giving hackers control over your computer without your knowledge. They are difficult to detect and can remain on your device even after regular antivirus scans. 27. Backdoor A backdoor is a hidden entry point into a system that bypasses regular security measures. Hackers use backdoors to gain unauthorized access without triggering alarms, allowing them to control the system at will. 28. Botnets Botnets are networks of compromised computers that hackers control remotely. They can use botnets to launch attacks like DDoS, send out spam emails, or perform other malicious actions on a large scale. 29. Password Spraying Password spraying is a type of attack where hackers try a few common passwords across many accounts rather than trying multiple passwords on a single account. This technique works when users use the same weak password across various platforms. 30. Cryptojacking Cryptojacking is when hackers secretly use your computer's processing power to mine cryptocurrency. Often, users don't even realize it's happening, except for a noticeable slowdown in system performance. 31. Firmware hacking Firmware hacking targets the low-level software that controls hardware components. By exploiting vulnerabilities in firmware, hackers can gain full access to a system, bypassing many security measures. 32. Cross-site request forgery CSRF CSRF tricks users into unknowingly performing actions on websites they are logged into. For example, hackers can make users transfer money or change account settings without their consent by sending a disguised malicious request. 33. Privilege Escalation Privilege escalation occurs when hackers gain unauthorized access to higher levels of a system's privileges, 
allowing them to control more resources, install software, or access sensitive data. 34. Command Injection Command injection happens when hackers insert malicious commands into vulnerable applications. These commands are then executed by the system, often leading to full control over the server or application. 35. Session Fixation Session fixation forces a user to use a specific session ID, which the attacker can then hijack. This allows hackers to impersonate the user and gain unauthorized access to their accounts. 36. Shoulder Surfing Shoulder surfing involves physically watching over someone's shoulder to steal their private information, like passwords or account numbers, by observing what they're typing. 37. Blue Snarfing Blue snarfing is the unauthorized access of information from a Bluetooth-enabled device. Hackers can steal contacts, messages, or files without the user knowing, often exploiting insecure Bluetooth connections. 38. Bluejacking Bluejacking sends unsolicited messages to Bluetooth-enabled devices. While it's usually harmless, it can be disruptive and might be used for malicious purposes if the device is vulnerable. 39. SIM Swapping SIM swapping involves hackers tricking your phone provider into transferring your phone number to a new SIM card, giving them access to your calls and messages, and allowing them to bypass security systems like two-factor authentication. 40. Jailbreaking or Rooting Jailbreaking, iOS and Rooting, Android, allow users to remove manufacturer restrictions from their devices, giving them more control. However, this can make the device vulnerable to malicious software and other attacks. 41. Rainbow Table Attack Rainbow Table Attacks use pre-computed tables to quickly match encrypted data, such as password hashes, with their plain text equivalents. This method is much faster than brute force attacks, but it requires significant storage. 42. Session Prediction in session prediction, hackers predict the session ID being used by a user, allowing them to hijack an active session and impersonate the user without their knowledge. It's often used against poorly secured websites. 43. ARP Spoofing ARP Spoofing – Address Resolution Protocol Spoofing Tricks devices on a local network into thinking a hacker's device is another device, allowing them to intercept, monitor, or alter network traffic. And that's it. Every major hacking technique explained. These are powerful tools that can be dangerous in the wrong hands, so understanding them is a key step in protecting yourself online. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more cybersecurity content. Stay safe out there and see you in the next one. Check out the video on the right for more content to help you develop your IT career.